What is everybody? The Magnus here, and today's tour reveal, we finally beat Duke Fishron. It cost us a lot of effort, time, and you know what? We ended up going through a couple errors because of it. With that being said, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please consider hitting the like button and impacting <clears throat> the subscribe button. It'll help on the long run. With all that out of the way, I do hope you enjoyed the video. And here we are back at home. So, off camera, I did get some more truffle worms. We got ten. Considering how it took me five last time to almost get the kill finally. Well, we're here to hopefully get the kill today. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to spend the whole episode on it like I did last week. Instead, I am going to just cut to the one fight that works. And hope for the best. <laughs> and after we get that done, we'll move on to the real project of today, which is after we get Duke Fishron and the Tempest staff, we're going to be taking on an event. And what event did that? Well... It's the Old One's Army. I have yet to fight it since basically pre-hard mode. And I figured, you know what? I think Tempest Staff would be good in an event, as well as we have the Dark Harvest to try out. So, I figured, why not kill a couple birds with one stone, right? So, I'm going to head over to the ocean. I'm going to fight Duke Fishron until we finally get a victory. So, be right back, hopefully with a victory. If we don't get within 10 attempts this time, yeah. I'm just going to fight off camera until I finally get it. <laughs> Alright, be right back at the Duke Fish Run fight. Alright, here we are back at the arena. I did make a few changes, and the only one really worth noting is the fact that I left only one thing of honey. Hoping that uh, we don't get an early hit, and that will be enough. So, with that being said, Alright, Duke Fish Run fight for the win. I said for the win. Alright, will you be the lucky one? Probably not. But I'm going to keep commentating as if it is. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I want to go up here. I'm going to feel safer up here as I get hit. No, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm screwing up. <laughs> I'm panicking. Panic, panic. Not good. Not good. And right into the sharks. Alright, we're still here. We're here. Phase two. Alright, gotta stay at full health. Gotta buy time. Nope, oh, dodge. Dodge, dodge. Over here. Alright, get hit, of course. That's what we want, clearly. You know, we gotta do this at no health. Okay, this attempt is scuffed. But, we're gonna keep going. Why? Why not, right? <laughs> and that's why. Alright, here we are, final phase. I'm doing good. Come on. Come on. Do I finally have it? Come on! Little, there we go! Finally! It only took me all my freaking bait! So in case you're wondering, that's 15 fights. It took me 15 fights to finally beat the Duke Fish Run. And on my look, we didn't even get the thing we're looking for. I had to remove honey, I had to get more flasks, I had a lot to do. Uh, but each time I got closer, I went to like 6,000 left, to 5,000, to 4,000, to 3,000, to I finally got victory. Oh, alright, back to base. I earned it. As I sit here, I wonder, is there a leak in my house? Okay, what did we get for all of our trouble? We got a dev set and a magic item. Not even what we were looking for. <laughs> we got a death set. So I guess I have to wear that. Because I said I would. We also got some dye. Alright, let's throw that on. Oh yes, this was clearly worth the trouble. Look at what we are now. <laughs> Actually, we'll take off the die. That's some cool die, though. Yes, we are now a bear. Hooray! Our reward for finally being the Duke after 15 fights. 14 failed, 1 successful. So, I'm now going to do that off camera. Because trust me, you don't want to watch me do this another 80 times while I try to get the Tempest stuff. So, be right back. <laughs> uh, be right back. Alright, we are back, and after, I kid you not, 43 more truffle worms, which means 43 more fights, 
we were able to get our hands on four more bags. At four chances at the Tempest staff. If I'm lucky, maybe Duke Fish won't wings. So come on, what do we have? We got, I think the very first one was the Tempest staff, but we got it plus the wings. And we got the bow. I think we have everything but the bubble gun. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. How many hours? You don't want to know. How many worms? 43. And of that, I only got four more victories. Yeah, and but you know what? Good news, I found out why. Pura here is the reason why. You might be saying, what'd the tiger do? Well, it's more like what the tiger didn't do, and that was attack Duke Fish Rod. Half the time, it turns out my whip was doing the damage, and Pura would not hit. So, yeah, if I were to take on that fight again, knowing what I know now, I would probably go crit with the Morning Star and something like the Blades or maybe Fourth the Martian Invasion or something, because they'll actually hit. Sorry, Pura, but apparently one-on-one, -on -one, Duke Fish was too fast for you. But with that being said, we do have the Tempest Staff and Fish on Wings. And some money. So, you know what that means. But first, let's sell off all of our extra stuff. Let's see, we want to put the flare on and the tsunami in here because we already have the truffle we'll sell these for a little bit of bonus cash so 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 you and you and then we will quick stack and you know what let's go reforge real quick while i'm thinking about it yeah i'm not even going to take the discount card yeah that's how upset i am <laughs> all right i'm not even going to bother here we are Yes, you know what I want? And just give it to me now. Give it to me. Don't do this. I'm not in the mood. I just got done fighting 43 Duke Fish runs. Give me Ruthless, please. Come on. You're really going to be that goblin right now, aren't you? Yes, you are. You are totally going to be that goblin. Or can this not get ruthless? Let me check that real quick. Nope, it can. Knockback is a factor. So come on. Okay, now this game is really making me mad. And we just had it. We just had it. Okay, so taking on the old one's army. Yeah, still gonna. I'm just... <laughs> uh, my system's all screwed up right now. I can't believe it. We did it. There was Ruthless, and it's not coming back. We've gotten the ultimate one several times. There it is again. That's not what we want, is it? Here goes all my money. I'm gonna have to go farming again. Okay, this is ridiculous. I... I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. Sorry, I'm experiencing a system crash right now. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I had a system crash, and I had to do a complete system reboot while I was reforging. Yeah, got the ruthless, got the menacing, and the reason why I'm going with those is because they are really good wings. They have a lot of verticality to them, so they're good. Trust me, they're good. Got the Tempest stuff back to ruthless, and I spent all my money to do it. Need proof? Here it is. I have only two platinum left. Yeah. This is not going well. Not going well. Now, what I need is the Dark Harvest, wherever I put that. And, yeah, I don't even know where I put that. So, be right back. We will go find that. And I'll reforge it with what little I have left. And we're just going to cut straight to the Old One's Army because, yeah, let's just say I'm in no mood now. <laughs> Alright, we're back. 
and I am down to 58 gold. But I got a godly or legendary Dark Harvest. <laughs> Was that worth it? You know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question it. Sometimes you have to just take the loss, right? Sometimes you just got to take the loss and move on. So, now we have... We just buff up. Tornadoes that look ugly one second. There we go. We have tornadoes. Sharknadoes. These things which last time I checked were horrible. Plus the Dark Harvest, which has some pretty impressive range. <laughs> and you know what? I was thinking the Old One's Army. I'm still thinking that, but I forgot we didn't have the arena built. So instead, I'm thinking we go take on the Pumpkin Moon again. <laughs> we still need Spooky Wood after all. So, I'll go set that up, and we'll be right back. Alright, here we are. It's almost night time. I'm going to... I remembered I did have one medallion stashed away right here. So, we don't have to go farming just yet. And yes, I'm going to be using buff potions. Why? Because I don't want to have to deal with this after finding all those Duke Fish one. Sure, maybe hours later, you know, all the reforging I had to do. <laughs> but, whatever. We're going to... Test out our invasion build, is what I'm calling it. Not only because I want to test out the sharks, which I think they're only good if there's a million things they can hit, because they're very inaccurate. And the whip, which I understand is actually good for invasions, and only good for invasions. So with all that being said, I need to put up my fishing rod, but let's take on the pumpkin moon again. <laughs> right? Right? Alright, it has started. Oh yeah, look at that. Eviscerate them. They deserve it. <laughs> I need to take out my frustration on something. Take them down. Destroy it all. <laughs> I don't know how this would do against a boss. <laughs> I guess we'll find out against the pumpkin moon. <laughs> yes, more. Destroy them all. Or the spooky wood. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> I'm not invincible. I took damage. <laughs> Kill them all. Sorry. <laughs> My uh, aggressive protocols are stuck in on right now because of Duke Fishron, and then the goblin really didn't help. <laughs> so I apologize. <laughs> You're going to see me borderline insane right now. <laughs> Take him down. There's a morning wood. Where are you? Where are you? They won't be mourning you. There you are. Where? 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 I'm looking. Where are you? Quit hiding. There you are. Take them down, my tsunamis. <laughs> Eviscerate them. Destroy them. They're actually doing pretty good. Granted, against a stationary target, that's not saying much. <laughs> Yes, eviscerate. And I will be taking these hearts. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing myself. I'm losing control, aren't I? My bad. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Ooh, more hearts for me, not for thee. <laughs> I didn't even buff up yet. <laughs> uh, I'm losing control. After this, I'm going to have to go to a forced shutdown state for a couple hours. And by hours, I mean days. I can't even process and say the right thing. <laughs> More spooky wood. Come here. You have my wood. Oh, yeah. Look at that damage. If they actually hit, they just rip them to shreds. I love it. Problem is, well, they hit. <laughs> Hello, pumpkin. Yeah, I'll fight you. Come on. Tornadoes. I need a little help. There we go. <laughs> Eviscerated, please. Thank you. These wings are actually really good. Look at I have to slow down. <laughs> uh, eviscerate the pumpkin. Kill the pumpkin. Actually, yeah, we want the raven stuff. Hello, spooky. <laughs> Try to get some free hits in. Hello, Pumpkin King. You're not strong anymore, are you? 
I'm eviscerating you. I'm losing all my health. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Give me the Raven stuff. You're done. You're done. You're done, and that's not Raven stuff. That's a pumpkin sword. I already got the pumpkin sword, I think. Hello. You want to dance? I don't know how to dance. I don't got legs. I'm just a machine. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, so they really are accurate against, you know, these mobile targets. But against something probably like Golem be useful. Definitely not Empress of Light. Unless we can, you know, trick it to getting hit. Which I don't think we can. We're about to die. Yes, we are. I don't care. <laughs> One is death, but another form of life. That makes no sense. Processing errors <laughs> everywhere. I don't care. I don't care. Look at that wall of tornadoes. <laughs> Come on. Look at that. I got a heal off. How am I not dead right now? Maybe I need to go insane more. <laughs> oh, I do apologize. Trust me. Fight 43 Duke Fishrons. And then come talk to me. Actually, do so. I'd like to hear your response. <laughs> Actually, you take that plus the 15 I fought beforehand. 48. Go fight 48 Duke Fishrons and tell me how you feel afterwards. <laughs> I hope you feel better than I do. <laughs> Alright, summons. Get back out here. I need you. There's a bunch of trees here that need chopping down. I may not be a lumberjack, but I can try. You're not focusing the right things. If you were, we wouldn't be having an issue. Eviscerate, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. There's another one. Go to work. Oh, look at it draw. Let this look at it go. These things do damage. I can see why it's considered an event. Uh, thing. Summon. Minion. Whatever. It's great at eviscerating an event. Because that's the only time I'll actually hit something. Ooh, this would help a solar eclipse if I had to fight it more. <laughs> I mean, they do damage, it's just, look at that, they miss half their shots. So, would I prefer this over the sh tiger? For events, yes. For boss fights, I really couldn't say. Oh no, the golfer died. Don't care. They'll respawn anyways. Ooh, what's that? Is that the raven? Nope, that's fairy dust. Alright, take out the morning woods because that's where we want to die. We need the wood. Yes, my tornadoes. Yes! <laughs> Eviscerate! If they're not moving, they destroy. But, I mean, I guess... Yeah, I couldn't see myself using this against anything other than events. Because against Moonlord, this would be wasted. Against Empress of Light, yeah, I'm not even going to try that one. Actually, I might. <laughs> but this does feel a lot stronger. Maybe it's the range that I don't have to worry about. Maybe it's because, you know, my minions will hit. Unlike, as I recently learned, the Tiger will miss more often than not. The Grand, they're also missing, so, you know, don't know what to say about that. Yeah, they're missing like half their shots. But when they do hit, they do a lot of damage, so... I don't know how to feel. I really don't. Alright, I think I'm starting to calm down. Enough time has passed. My circuits are starting to fix themselves and rewire, and there's the Raven Staff. Right as I die. So I guess now all we need is all the wood. Great! <laughs> At least this is successful. <laughs> Alright, oh, we only got about a minute and a half left. So, you know what? We're going to try to take down as many trees. Even if a pumpkin pops up, we won't care. We want the trees, because we want that wood. Alright, take down the trees, take down the trees. All the trees and only the trees. Not you, pumpkin. You can go away. Just the trees, please. Oh, two pumpkins. You know what that means? We're all out of trees. And we only got one minute left, so... I guess... Let's try. <laughs> I could just... 
I was gonna say, make sure I die and waste the last few minutes, but... I feel like that's gonna happen naturally. Wave 16, huh? Didn't you used to cap out wave 15 and anything beyond that with bonus? Okay, I don't really think anything's sp There we go, I was gonna say, nothing's spawning. Did I beat the event? Did I glitch the event? <laughs> I don't know. But it's good to know that this is good. So I'm glad I definitely have to try against the Old One's Army next episode. Sorry, I was planning on doing this episode, but... Yeah, complications set in. And I forgot to build the arena back. <laughs> That's my bad. Blame that one on Duke Fish Run. Alright, only 10 seconds left. So, I like the Tempest Staff. I just wish it would hit. But then again, I guess if it did hit, it'd be OP. Eh, whatever. That's the event. We'll collect our winnings and go see about getting some spooky armor. Probably not even going to be worth it. <laughs> and look at that, it's a graveyard again. So we'll summon our little bit of protection, gather up all of our dropped goodies, and let's see how we did. We got stuff. <laughs> let's see, some twigs, some dust, some candles, hat, we got the wood, I think that's enough. Broom, I know there's a raven stuff in here, I saw it drop. There it is. The Raven Staff. Something I actually wanted, because I like the Raven Summon. Now then, what do I do with the rest of my wood? That's the only question I have. Did I put it in one of these boxes? I might have. Or it's at base. It's probably at base. Let's go find it. Okay, so we have over a thousand pieces. I think that should be enough to make spooky armor. I'm hoping it's enough to make spooky armor. Alright, for this we need 200, 500, uh, yeah, we have it. We officially have spooky armor. Hooray! I don't even know if it's going to be worth it or not. Let's see, increase, let's see. Increases max minion by 1 and 11 summon damage. 2 and 11. And 1, and 11, and player movement speed. Compa Let's just do a comparison real quick, and then we'll wrap up. Okay, so I see 1, 10, and whip range. Or this is 1, and so this does more summon damage, but this increases whips. Let's see, 1, so this is better for minions. Okay, so the big difference is this one helps with whip a little bit. Or is this one will give you an extra minion. Actually, first we need to see the bonus afterwards. Let's see, set bonus increases your max number of minions and whip range versus increases summon damage by a lot. You know what? I want spooky. I think it's going to give me a. Let's actually compare it. Spooky is 130. And then Tiki is, yeah, that's a significant damage increase for, what, a little bit less whip range? We will take it. We are officially spooky next time we play. <laughs> uh, progress has been made. Just cost me my sanity there for a minute. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed playing. This has been The Mechanist, logging off. Until next time.